What's up, everybody? Sammy Paley here, back with another episode of Awaken Your Potential. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world that you're watching, and today is a very special day in my family. June 12th is very special because it's the day that we celebrate the passing of my grandpa. We call it Dave's Day, and we use it not as a day to dwell on his, his young passing. We use it as a day to celebrate the amazing character and inspiring person that he was. And many of the principles I teach on this, like awaken your potential, be that person, use your time to your advantage, make the time, are all things that my grandpa Dave has taught me throughout my life. So I want to totally devote this episode to him. Before we do that though, a quick message from my sponsor. I'm just kidding. I don't have a sponsor. I want to get sponsors. If you want to help me do that, then hit the subscribe button down below. But let's get into the episode today. If you've been following along on this page since its start, then you realize that the main message I'm trying to portray is that we all have a potential within us that is waiting to be unlocked and then tapped into. And you got to fully dive into that. And this idea of awakening our potential is something that we often view as this big, grandiose thing. Like you need to become like a professional athlete or a professional in anything. And that is certainly a component of it. But there's also small micro moments that can really help you gain momentum. And it's not about these big overnight successes, which personally never happen in my opinion. It's about making small improvements every single day. And my grandpa Dave was someone who could really help people see that potential within themselves. He would be the one to compliment the busboy, or he would be the one to compliment people who are maybe having a tough day, but they're trying the best that they can. And Dave was excellent at helping people see the best that they have. He always made sure to go out of his way to tip waiters extra or to just help compliment people on the amazing things they're doing that might seem seemingly insignificant or small to the person doing them. They might be mundane, they might be routine, but he always made sure to make them see and make them feel that they are doing an amazing job. And in Brené Brown's book I've been listening to, she talks about how one of her mantras is to be someone who contributes more than she criticizes. And that really hit me. Such a powerful mantra and Dave was someone who embody that he would always help see people for the amazing person they are rather than criticizing them for who they're not and i just think that's such a powerful way to live he is that person he spreads positivity out into the world and he expects nothing else in return except for you to pay it forward he is just a kind soul he always is willing to listen he was an empathic listener if you ever had anything you needed to get off your chest, you could tell him. He worked in social work. He worked as a mediator for, for couples going through divorce, if I remember correctly. And honestly, if I could go back in time and have dinner with one person in the entire history of the world, I would choose Grandpa Dave because I really feel like the character that he has is someone that I aspire to be all the time and I think many of us should aspire to be someone who helps see the positives in every situation and helps everyone see the amazing potential and the amazing human being they are now and how they can always improve but they should always be grateful for who they are. In the second half of this video I really want to kind of shift gears a little bit and talk about the importance of squeezing as much as you can out of every single interaction you have, especially with the loved ones in your life. And the reason that I really want to highlight this is because my grandpa passed away at a very young age. He passed away at the age of 70, but his health was declining throughout basically the course of my entire life. And it's really important to just get as much out of every interaction. And something that my girlfriend and I now practice is not saying goodbye because you don't want to say goodbye. We say see you soon because see you soon is representative of the fact that there will be another time to meet and there will be another one. But if you say goodbye and it's the last one, it can be crushing. And any of us have an hourglass in our life and we never know how much time is left in it. And it is so vital that we squeeze as much out of life as we can. And we can do that by helping other people, as I talked about in the first half, to see the positives in themselves, help other people live a fulfilled life. And by doing that, the flip side is that you also get to be fulfilled by helping them see the positives in themselves. When I was born in 1999, 
my grandpa was in the hospital at that time and it honestly was uncertain if he was going to make it through or if he wasn't and the fact that he got to live and he had six grandkids and he was always putting family first and always putting others before himself it was just truly in retrospect such a meaningful relationship I had and unfortunately at the young age of 13 I was I mean I look like I'm 13 now so you can imagine how young I looked then Wow! I didn't fully grasp just how important and how meaningful my grandpa Dave was and how special of a human he was by helping other people see the amazing person they are and now that I'm going through life and growing up with my parents I'm getting to see that all of the stuff that Dave did is stuff that we fully value as a family. We value those positive interactions and we value making the most time. And if I could go back, I wish I would have spent more time with Grandpa Dave, but that's exactly what all of us should do. And when this video is done, I would encourage all of you to reach out to your parents or an old friend or a loved one and just, just chat, just catch up and just really appreciate what you have we're so easy it's so easy to get caught in the go 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 and the busyness of our lives but we need to really focus on enjoying every single moment you just really need to make the most of it because you'd never know i could finish filming this and walk outside and go get hit by a bus and that could be it but i just really want to squeeze as much as i can out of this and i hope you do too so we have here a delicious meatball sub by the way chips on a sandwich in my opinion, enhances a sandwich tenfold. It's so much better, you get the extra crunch. But this sub is not a coincidence. My grandpa first taught me about the meatball sub and while I was talking about how he's a positive presence and how he squeezed the most out of his life, what he also taught me is how not to eat a meatball sub. Now I remember, I can vividly remember, we were after my brother's soccer game, my grandpa goes, gets the meatball sub, and he just is covered, just drenched in his meatball sub. Now I'm sitting in my car and me making fun of him for that is just cause and karma's gonna come and bite me and it's gonna, I'm gonna have sub all over me, but I just thought that was hilarious. So now I have a mild Subway addiction. Anyone who knows me knows I love Subway maybe a little too much, but I absolutely love the meatball sub. Don't eat it while you drive. That's a very bad move, very bad call, but Cheers, Grandpa. This one is for you. Good as always. Do I have some on my face? Whatever. A crucial update here. I got through the sub unscathed. My clothes are completely clean. I was white knuckling it. I didn't want to spill anything on me. I know Carmen's going to bite me when I least expect it. But if you've seen past episodes, a tradition we have is every single episode... I put a paper clip in here to kind of just reward showing up and eventually together we're going to continue to fill this jar. There's 29 paper clips in there at the moment. And for this episode, because it's such a special episode for myself, my family, and just the amazing character that Grandpa Dave was, I wanted to switch things up a little bit. Now, my mom, she's into the whole voodoo world and spiritual stuff. And truthfully, I'm, I've become very open-minded with it. And she was at a medium, and the medium was talking about, okay, okay, do you know a Dave? And my mom was like, yeah, yeah, I know a, I know a Dave. That's my husband's dad. And that was, uh, he was in the room, and she said that Dave always leaves dimes for all of the grandkids around. Now, I'm very grateful for the dimes, but with the price of gas, Grandpa, I would appreciate if you had maybe 25 cents, maybe even a loony. Is that getting greedy? Maybe that's greedy. But... To commemorate this special episode, I wanted to put the dime in here to just represent this very special Dave's Day. It's a very special day every year. It's a time to be with family. And so, to Grandpa, love you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I hope you got something out of this episode today. And just keep being like Dave. Be the positive person. Be that person. Be the positive presence. And just... Keep having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. See you in a week.